Do you have paneer? This one is spicy. Wow, that's so good. I'm going to eat every single piece of paneer in here. God's own country. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Wayanad Kerala. In this video, I'm only going to be eating Kerala foods because Kerala has some of the most unique foods in India. Hi, my name is Ivana and I've been living in Bangalore, Karnataka for the past four years. However, Kerala holds a very, very special place in my heart because Kochi in Kerala, the southern state in India, was the first place where I landed in India in 2015. In this video, I can't wait to try some new Kerala foods but also some good old staples like for instance putu. Before we get into the food I'm also going to talk about something else in this video because I have a confession to make. Some of you have already spotted this patch that I've been wearing for the last couple of weeks. This is a real-time glucose sensor and it is paired with my ultra human cyborg app this is a collaboration but i am such a huge fan so i'm going to be a total fangirl throughout this video talking you through how all of this works i would like to announce that the first dish is here a nice dosa by now you must be wondering wait i need some more explanation how does this work how do you attach the sensor well this is how it works the ultra human cyborg comes in this sleek packaging with everything you need to get started instantly Initially, I felt extremely intimidated, especially because the sensor does have a small needle, but actually the needle just braces your skin a bit to get your glucose levels. Nothing is complicated or painful, and now I can even put my sensor on under one minute. Once you've put on the sensor, you download the app and set up your account with your fitness goals, upon which the real magic happens. The Ultra Human Cyborg app, in combination with this glucose sensor, gives me my real-time glucose levels at any time of the day. It also gives me not just scores and reports that you know keep me accountable whether it's about my sleep or my food my workouts or stress and that actually keeps me really really hooked to this device speaking about accountable let's do the first scan of the day i haven't eaten anything my phone is ready to scan and there we go scan complete what is my score 96 96 is really really good i had a good day eating yesterday and i had a really good night of sleep so i'm very very happy about that super happy also to dig into my breakfast well half of my breakfast first i'm having dosa oh the chutneys in the summer are also coming and the putu and kurma are coming after that let's see what kind of effect it will have on my metabolic score and my glucose levels i'm having a wonderful dosa for breakfast and i can't wait to try this coconut chutney Hmm, the first bite. Going in for the tomato chutney. At least I hope it's the tomato chutney because I love tomato chutney. Mm. Hands down, one of the top tomato chutneys I have ever had. Spicy. All of these are spicy, but good, man. And then the final bite with the, I'm guessing, coriander chutney. Again, <clears throat> one of the top coriander chutneys I've ever had. That is coriander, man. Wow. If you ever see me choose coriander chutney over tomato chutney, it means it's a really, really, really good coriander chutney. My goodness. Yum. So regarding my metabolism, the um, glucose levels will start showing the food that I'm eating right now or the effects of the food that I'm eating right now in about, I would say, 30 minutes or something like that. So that's when I'm going to scan again. But right now, I'm just going to enjoy my dosa and a lot more food. Going into the second half of my breakfast, I'm going to have something that I've also had a couple of times before, but obviously it is best in Kerala. And it is one of those things that you really should have in Kerala because it's quite hard to find um, you know outside of Kerala it is putu in case you have never heard of putu it is actually compressed rice with coconut in these cylinders and then it comes out like this so looking very very aesthetically pleasing today I'm going to have it with this veg korma that looks again insanely tasty insanely fresh this legit looks like garkakana and these chutneys also tasted like garkakana like an Indian mom made them so I, I I cannot tell you how excited I am about this breakfast my god mm. Mm, mm, mm. I can taste a little bit of coconut 
a lot of ginger in that veg korma obviously the peas a little bit of cauliflower and then with the putu and the coconut it gives such a nice texture you know on top of the delicious mild flavor mm. i feel like i'm in heaven god's own country mm -hmm. <laughs> this was an extremely large breakfast but absolutely zero regrets because every bite in this paradise was delicious i got really tired though so i had to take a nap after what does this mean for my glucose levels well i'll order lunch first and then we'll find out anybody else who plans their whole day around their meals <laughs> for lunch i am ordering in-room dining oh, which one lunch, but, uh, this is no i'm i'm veg. veg that's the problem do you have paneer yeah paneer Koji varutara. How do you pronounce it? Koji varutara. That is chicken varutara. Okay, so can you use that masala with paneer? Just ask my chef and I. Yeah, it sounds amazing. So I would say just put paneer. Kerala is by far one of the most relaxing states in India. I always recommend it as a first entry point in India for foreigners because it's less of a culture shock than for instance Delhi. Even though I'm in Vayanad at Sapta Resort and Spa for the first time myself, I can instantly feel that familiar Kerala relaxed vibe. Somehow the warm weather in combination with the coconut trees instantly gives you that laid back holiday vibe. In the meantime, it is almost 3 p.m. Yes, I really, really needed time because it was a lot of food. So I'm going to do my other measure while I wait for my next meal, the lunch. The Ultra Human Cyborg, when you set it up, it will actually ask you what your health objectives are. So, you know, some people, they want to be more lean and fit. Other people want more fitness gains, so they want to build up muscles. However, for me, the most important thing is being more productive by reducing my stress. Stress anyways is really, really not good for your health. It is time to see what the effect of that was. So let's do the scan. I'm wondering if my glucose levels went up. Oh. <laughs> my metabolic score went to 79. Hyperglycemic event detected. My blood glucose rose above the max target of 110 milligrams per deciliter. Let me see what is the other event listed. I had an insane start to the day. Good nocturnal glucose control. Oh, are you seeing this metric? I think I just had way too much food for breakfast. I need to have a healthy lunch. I actually really, really, really love sitting on the floor when I'm eating. What all do we have here? Well, first of all, a pineapple lassi over here which is fresh pineapple mixed with yogurt and then over here we have a saffron mousse i'm extremely excited to try that kerala is extremely famous for its spices it is the place where i first saw pepper grow in the wild so that was extremely exciting and then over here we have ooh, 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 this is the curry oh wow i thought actually that it would be white because of all the coconut that was in the description and then i actually have a veg pulao over here so whenever people ask me like how do you eat so much and you never gain weight i'm actually like a low-key health freak <laughs> i used to quit sugar for a whole year to see what the effect was on my body i really do take care of my health so that's how i also know like any type of breads with atta or maida oh, I, they will give me a stomach ache and i really really prefer rice even with you know paneer dishes beautiful time of the year to visit kerala in case you're planning any trips this was actually only a five to six hour road trip from bangalore to Wayanad. like can you imagine and it is so peaceful here but there are also not that many food stalls around hence why i also can go out and have street food i have a lot of those videos as well and i really want to try what kind of food they had at this resort i'm staying at the sapta resort and spa oh pineapple see mm, this is too sweet <laughs> i think there's a lot of added sugar all righty let's scan before i eat there we go scan complete how are we doing 82 okay we're good we're good let's see what happens after this meal i know paneer is a north indian dish but i'm doing a little bit of jogad here i love kerala food and i don't mind trying different masalas a masala in case you don't know means a mix of spices and they vary widely <laughs> across india this 
Masala is so good. It's actually very smoky. I don't know if there are peanuts in there, but it's very peanutty. And it's a hardcore winner with the paneer. Paneer, in case you don't know, is a mild, firm cottage cheese that is used in a lot of North Indian gravies. Um, Kerala, I would suggest to add this to your cuisine because this masala goes so well with the paneer. Mm. So it's not spicy at all. It is more layers and layers and layers of flavors. This is so good. Mm. The palau is very mild. It's basically just rice cooked with vegetables. I'm going to eat every single piece of paneer in here. And there's a lot. <laughs> the cashews and the palau also take it to the next level. I love that. Oh. Oh, this is so good. I can't. My whole day has made with dishes like this. I, I really don't hold back. I'm, I'm sorry, ultra human cyborg. You're going to scold me later, but <laughs> this is just too good. You got to enjoy life, man. Seriously, it's important to be healthy. It's important to eat healthy. It's important to exercise. But if you're not enjoying life, if you're not eating yummy foods, then, then what's it all for? I really, really want to try this saffron mousse. Look at this. Oh yeah. So the top is a little bit more firm and then underneath it, it's a lot more creamy. Whoa. I can actually see a strand of saffron. You know how expensive saffron is? It's, I think it's one of the most expensive spices in the world and I can actually literally see strands of saffron in this saffron mousse. I was actually planning on putting this big bite in my mouth in one go, but now that I see those saffron strands, mm -mm -mm, this is an exquisite bite. So I'm going to savor each and every small bite of the saffron mousse. Mm. Just for the record, I'm holding back. What a delicate, exquisite dessert. Obviously, I expected the food at Sapta Resort and Spa to be good. In fact, I've never eaten bad food in Kerala in general. But this lunch was completely blowing my mind. Unlike my regular tendencies to hawk, when food is this good, I actually really slow down and savor every bite. My goodness, what a treat. Want to see what my glucose levels are doing right now? I'm telling you, I'm hooked on this. It is so fascinating to see what kind of effect certain foods have on your metabolism. You can scan as many times as you want, but you need to scan at least three times. So in the morning, in the afternoon, and uh, before you go to bed. And by the way, as you see, you can scan through clothes. It doesn't matter because it's a sensor, right? Ooh! my metabolic score went up okay okay this food is doing me well so the ultra human cyborg and continuous glucose monitoring are really scientific and proven methods for any person who is looking into bettering their lifestyle choices but also putting in the work in order to improve their health metrics for me it's really important to you know lower my stress levels and learn how foods and sleep and exercise impact that and this is just addictive as you can see because all throughout the day you can literally see like oh what's my metabolic score and usually it really matches up with my mood whenever i'm not feeling good i just check my metabolic score and it's really on the lower end because i didn't sleep enough you can also see how it tracked your sleep or i can see i've been eating a lot of like processed foods instead of this kind of garka kana so in that sense like you can make real-time adjustments in order to feel better about yourself so right now i'm going to go for a walk and try to you know lower my glucose levels or at least like you know try to prevent them rising too much walkies yeah? Oh, you cuteness! My personal favorite ways of exercising are walking and yoga. The resort is pet friendly so I could bring Bambi with me and the surrounding area is an absolute treat to walk off any stress or big city anxiety. Just came back from my walk with Bambi and I am curious to see what my score is. Are you curious? I'm ready to scan. Oh yeah. Scan complete. Let's see what's happening. 84. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's pretty good. It did go up, but actually oh, this food did me really well. I'm very happy about that. It's so interesting to see these kind of effects in real time because then you know instantly what kind of food affects you in what way. 
in the community i saw that one guy actually had poha and his blood glucose levels went through the roof so he was like what i thought poha was healthy right so then he switched to red poha and his blue glucose levels stayed stable that's such a genius way to just adjust for your body specifically what works and what doesn't work and you can also do this with meditation with exercise now in the app there are also actually a lot of exercises available a lot of food tips and there is a whole community around it but i'll talk more about that after dinner no matter where i am in india i really love to indulge in sham kanashta or afternoon tea. Needless to say, here at Sapta Resort and Spa, it had a wonderful location. I just got freshened up after the most amazing chai slash bath experience. In case you wondered, the sensor is waterproof up to 30 minutes. I think I even spent a longer in bath, but I, uh, let's see if it still works. Let's, let's try it out. I just shower with it every single day and it never gave me any issues, but I haven't taken a bath with it. So let's see what my levels are. Ready to scan. TD. Scan complete. Let's see. Metabolic score 86. Oh, 85. I think because I'm hungry and I, oh yeah. You can definitely see I'm hungry. <laughs> let's go off for dinner. So this is good. The sensor is still working and um, yeah, the biscuit didn't do much and the chai also didn't do much, but it was a wonderful experience. For dinner, I can't wait to have another Kerala gravy dish. That lunch masala was so unique and it made me extremely excited to try a new Kerala flavor for dinner again. In front of me, I have plain steamed rice, which looks nice and tasty, but then I have the Koon Patani curry, which is also a Kerala dish. It is actually a curry or masala or gravy with mushrooms and peas and it looks delicious i also have a lassi here this is the sugarless pineapple lassi dance i am going to dig into this kumpatani curry because i've never tried this before as a vegetarian also for me it's super super important to get my proteins in and mushrooms are a great source of protein so healthy too This almost tastes barbecued. That is such a smoky flavor. Holy moly. This one is spicy. Wow, oh, that's so good. Oh my gosh. It just really almost tastes like barbecued mushrooms and peas in a barbecue gravy. You know how hard it is to get a barbecue flavor into vegetarian dishes? Malay Ali's love their meat. But yeah, apparently the veg dishes that they have are just top notch. I think it's important to know that with the ultra human cyborg, it's a really fun way to track your health, but also actually to connect to a community. They have this amazing community on Slack where you can get answers, support, and real life insights that are tried and tested from real humans and experts who are all using the ultra human cyborg to better their lifestyle choices. So you're not alone in this. Actually, there are 35 thousand people on the wait list to get this app and to get access to the system if you want to skip that line there's a link down in my description below it is a paid link because i mean there are 35,000 people waiting if you want to skip the line you got to use the vip link <laughs> down in the description below the sensor will last about two weeks and yeah you can scan with the app all throughout the day uh, which is addictive i'm not gonna lie it's very addictive <laughs> Finally, I'm going to end this amazing day of eating only Kerala food for 24 hours with a Malai Chum Chum, a dessert that I have never tried before. Malai is a cream that you can only get in India. I see some spices here on top and I just can't wait to try this. There are like two dumplings in there. I really wonder what this would taste like. Mm -hmm. So much cardamom. Yes. It's almost like rasgulla but a little bit softer but this cream man wow mm, the elaichi is just front back and center honestly i don't care much about the dumplings it's all about that malai can i just get a bathtub of that malai what a perfect dessert to end this day i'm so happy <laughs> i'm very curious what my metrics are after that final meal but of course i also still have to sleep and then take the final final metric tomorrow morning this is oh quite good 86 awesome 10 p.m great metabolic control today 
yay honestly your sleep your food your exercise your stress levels they all are the most important i think health metrics that just make you feel good and i think you could also see that in my mood today not in the least because i had some phenomenal food oh my gosh i'm gonna talk more to you tomorrow morning but first i'm gonna go to bed and then we're gonna wrap this up tomorrow and what a wrap up did i get a kerala sadia is a traditional feast that's usually served during the festival of onam around september sapta resort and spa decided to completely spoil me in true kerala style and i got to indulge in an amazing kerala sadia oh my goodness i cannot believe it we are having a sadia <laughs> I'm so excited. I haven't had a sadia in two years. Last Onam in 2021, I saw all of the sadias in Bangalore popping up all over Instagram and I couldn't have one because they were all sold out. Thank you so much, Sapta Resort and Spa. This is, this is incredible. Look at all these phenomenal dishes. My gosh. Oh, <laughs> this makes me so happy. It is time to take the final scan on my ultra human cyborg after having 24 hours of Kerala food. What is it gonna say? Let's see. Hello. Okay. Oh my gosh. Apparently, Kerala food is very, very good for your metabolism and is very, very good for your health. That was awesome. Obviously, I wouldn't be recommending it to you guys if I wasn't such a massive fangirl. And I love the fact that I can make you guys skip the line of 35 thousand people on the wait list just go to the link down in my description below and you will get direct access to the app like i can't that's awesome and i honestly i could eat kettle food for a week would never get bored of it because there's so much variation in it what do you guys think would you eat kettle food for 24 hours would you try the ultra human cyborg let me know down in the comments below and of course feel free to share this video with as many people as possible to show them how awesome kettle food is and how awesome the ultra human cyborg is of course if you enjoyed this video make sure to put a thumbs up and you can consider subscribing to my channel and joining 250,000 other subscribers. It's free and you'll get a notification whenever I upload a new video. For now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.